Welcome to Connect the Dots to Your Well-Being. I'm Tiffany Berger. Today on the podcast, we're exploring how to transform your destructive emotional energy to creative, to a strong vibrational hertz. And don't forget, right now I'm currently enrolling a small group of participants to the Breathe Well, Be Well six-week transformational program. It is a program built upon Breathwork 614's foundational principles to receiving all your good, to receiving your well-being. Visit breathwork614.com to learn more. And if you enroll before June 1st, you'll receive 10% off. Use the promo code SMMRESE23. Who doesn't want to live a summer of ease? Let's get started. Hi everyone, if you're new to the channel or just started following me, I'm Tiffany Berger, owner of Breathwork 614. I'm a breathworker and well-being life coach. I'm a mom to three, a wife, a member of the PTA. I wear all the hats, do all the things, and I do it with love and joy. Oh, and I'm also a well-being advocate. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Um, but I'm really glad to say that I do it with joy and I do it with love and a passion for life. Uh, but it wasn't always like that. Prior to launching Breathwork 614, I was an educator. And while I loved teaching, um, my resting place was overwhelm, anxiety, and burnout. It was because I lacked effective well-being strategies. I knew nothing about Breathwork. Now it is my passion to share Breathwork and effective well-being strategies with women, with families, with those that will listen and who desire to transform their life. So let's get started. A few episodes back, I recorded uh, how to connect the dots to your well-being based upon the chart of emotional frequency. So in the podcast, I shared that each of our energetic uh, emotionalities or our uh, vibrations, the feelings, the emotions that we experience, transmit a specific vibration or hertz. Um, and we characterize this as our vibe, right? Like you can feel my vibe, you can feel other people's vibes, you walk into a room or, you know, go to a party, attend a, a restaurant, a dinner party, something like that, you feel other people's vibrations. And that specific measurement of energy is called hertz. Uh, the chart of emotional frequency really divided our emotions between destructive, the lower, weaker vibrational hertz, or creative, the strong vibrational hertz. Uh, when we experience and really live in destructive emotionalities, um, we feel like we are a victim, we feel powerless, and it really prevents us from uh, receiving our well being. However, when we experience uh, stronger or creative emotions, we feel empowered. We feel that we are living the life uh, that we desire to live, um, and we feel empowered to create more of the life that we want to live in, thus receiving our well-being. So then I recorded in the last episode where we experience specific emotions throughout our body. Our physical being uh, indicates or experiences specific emotions in different parts of our body, such as stomach. Um, I think I started with the episode, do you ever feel sick to your stomach? The stomach houses fear. That would be the destructive emotion. However, the stomach also houses excitement the creative emotion. Um, and knowing what you're experiencing when you're experiencing it, gaining awareness of your thoughts, gaining awareness of your breath can help you to be a deliberate creator or a conscious creator, creating or transforming um, the emotions that you're experiencing to be what it is you want to experience. All right. So today's episode is all about sharing the effective strategies, the tools that you can use to transform destructive emotions to creative emotions. A lot of times in our culture, we'll define destructive emotions as negative and creative emotions, um, the stronger vibrational hurts emotions as positive. So Use whatever terminology that best suits you, that helps you best to understand. Uh, but today on the podcast, I am sharing with you effective strategies to transform negative emotionalities to positive emotions. Here we go. To begin transforming destructive emotionalities to creative, to a stronger vibrational hertz, 
The first technique would be to consciously breathe. And I recommend consciously breathing for 20 cycles. Right now, I'm gonna participate in 10 just for time's sake, but know that you can always replay this video so that you complete 20, or you could pause the video, complete 10 additional breaths. So 20 conscious breaths, for time's sake, I'm showing you 10 right now. You want slow, deep breaths looking like this. Two more. Wow, that was 10. Try 20 of those uh, after a long day, even after a short day, during times of transition, anytime you feel like you need to move your emotional energy and step into a creative stance, a positive stance, 20, cannot, 20 conscious connected breaths for you. All right, step number two, you can always watch a funny video. So there may be some truth to TikTok, maybe, if you're watching uplifting um, videos that are gonna make you laugh, uh, additional videos on YouTube. I mean, we have phones accessible to us all the time. So looking at a picture of a loved one, your pet, that will really get your vibration to be raised or to level up per se. Other activities include reading a sacred text or a sacred passage or um, a text that's meaningful to you, that's going to uplift you. I would also recommend playing anytime you can get on the floor like a child, crawl around. It invokes this primal instinct within us. It reminds us of our innocence, of our childhood. Uh, that being said, if you are close to a playground, I recommend you swinging, going down the slide. Uh, that automatically raises our joy, uh, raises our vibration to one of joy and into happiness. Brain training is another great technique. Anytime you can uh, create positive thoughts, it's gonna evoke positive emotions. So typically our thoughts go destructive and when that happens, it causes a change in our breath. We experience destructive emotions. So if you can create, stop that negative, that destructive thought and create a positive, creative thought, one that's going to serve you, in the moment, that's an automatic way to raise your vibration to one that's creative. Um, another technique would be to um, walk in a labyrinth, if you have a labyrinth close by to you, um, or to meditate, those are great ways. Um, I love finger labyrinths, you can even print out. I know with the students I work with, I will give them finger labyrinths. They're all different levels of, of abilities. Uh, that can be really fun, and what a wonderful way to bring you into the present moment and get you out of that destructive, um, weaker vibrational hurts. Chanting can be so great for our being. The chant AUM, A-U-M, really works to get the blood flowing from the abdomen all the way up to our brain. It's also great to use whenever you're having digestive issues. So it would look like this, a conscious inhale, and exhale stating AUM. Here I go, AUM. Try it with me, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, stating the word om. Um. Bring your lips together and really experience that vibration. Here we go. Um. I'm not 
not kidding you guys. I do that one um, whenever I'm experiencing any digestive issues. And when my children are, I have them stay on and do that. And then they are back in the flow, if you know what I mean, right away. So that's a good one for digestive issues. Um, another great technique would be the trauma release exercise or called TRE. For this one, you wanna lay down on your flat back and you wanna prop your knees up and actually bring the soles of your feet together. So when your soles of your feet are together, you're then going to bring your knees together too so that your knees are kissing the, the ceiling. So you're laying on a flat back, your feet are on the floor, your knees are kissing the ceiling. And then when you're ready, you're gonna consciously breathe. And as you're consciously breathing, you're gonna bring your knees out. You're gonna slowly release your knees down to the floor. And as your um, knees slowly begin to release, your legs will begin to vibrate at some level. If you can stay and remain holding your legs at that level so that they are vibrating while consciously breathing, you are releasing stored trauma in the body. It's great. This is a great technique used um, for for vets as well. So that's called the trauma release exercise. Maybe I'll do a I'll do a quick video on that one so that you have that on on the channel too. You can get a visual for what that looks like. And then finally, the last tool or exercise I recommend when transforming your destructive emotionality to creative is uh, forgiveness. Forgiveness right? Uh, we hold so much resistance when we are unwilling to forgive. But forgiveness can be great because it does position us in a uh, emotionality of love, of acceptance, reasoning, and understanding. Uh, and a willingness, right? A, a true willingness to um, open us up in a posture to receive our well-being. So forgiveness, um, I like to recommend, it's called the Ho'oponopono. The Ho'oponopono is a square breath prayer chant. And it um, follows the steps where you will inhale for seven seconds, you will hold your breath for seven seconds, you will exhale for seven seconds, and then you will hold your breath for another seven seconds. At the end of that step, you will then stay aloud, I'm sorry to whomever you need to forgive. Sometimes it's ourself, don't forget that. So maybe I'm saying, I'm sorry, Tiffany, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And the goal is to complete that square breath prayer and chant seven times. So I will demonstrate one round with you. And then um, later on, I'll add another video uh, just encompassing the whole Popono so that you can do that. I love this one because it's great to do um, in the moment when you feel like you are holding some resentment or um, maybe a grudge towards someone else. So sitting with my best breath best breath posture. I'm going to go ahead and inhale for seven seconds. Here I go. I'm going to hold now for seven. I'm going to release for seven. I'm going to hold for seven. And now I'm going to say, I'm sorry, Tiffany, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. So there you have it. 11 different tools for you to use to in the moment, it is best in the moment because you are recreating a new response to trauma, a new response to stress, a new response to trigger. 11 tools in the moment to use to really transform your destructive emotionality to one that is creative, to one that has a strong hurts, and that one that sets you up to receiving your well-being. I'm not kidding, guys. You can do this. Empowered living, life-enhancing ideas. Thanks for listening in today. So thank you for listening in today to Connecting the Dots to Your Well-Being. If this really resonated with you and you desire to transform your reality, you desire to receive all of your good, all of your well-being, then please sign up for Breathwork 614's six-week transformational program. There will be lives, recordings, um, a private members only Facebook group so that you can position yourself so that you can learn tools to position yourself daily so that you are open to receive well-being and really live that empowered life enriched um, reality. So you can visit breathwork614.com to learn more and enroll today. Breathe love.